just going to go ahead and freeze this existing surface once again. Freeze that guy one more time. And I'm going to turn on our existing contours layers just so we can see the existing polylines. So as you can see here, uh, it's having this guy, which is at 980. 980. Uh, obviously, it's the same thing with... Uh, so, well, it's got these little labels here. I'm going to grab these guys and delete those because I don't really want to see those. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't tie exactly into the location of that contour, but it's pretty close, right? Like right here, it gets super, super close. Here, it's a little bit more off, but it basically does all the grading for you, right? So now we have polylines that are, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one just to see if the, yeah, okay, so the whole thing is still under there, um, which is fine. As you can see, the pi line and the big M line thing, which is located under. Um, but yeah, now we have pi lines that have been outputted from our corridor, which pretty much does all the grading for you um, pretty accurately.